Step 1. Determine your retirement income needs. To maintain your current lifestyle, there are two methods you can use to determine how much you need for retirement. The income replacement ratio method. There are two approaches. You can either use 75% of your current income or 70% of your last drawn or pre-retirement income. You may want to consider using a wage growth rate of 2 to 7% to derive your pre-retirement income. These percentages are just guidelines commonly used in financial planning textbooks. The second method is using the adjusted expenses method, which estimates expenses nearing or during retirement. Here is an example using the income replacement ratio method. At 75% of your current income of $48,000 and a, retirement, a desired retirement age of 62, the desired annual retirement income works out to $36,000. Using a life expectancy of 83 for men and 88 for women, the number of years in retirement will be 21 and 26 respectively. The total desired retirement income need will be $756,000 for a male and $936,000 for a female. For now, we have not factored in inflation. The adjusted expense method takes a close look at one's spending habits and how they may change during retirement. Some expenses may increase, some decrease, and others don't change. They are all estimated using today's dollar value. It is also important to review your expenses just before and during retirement. For example, you may decide that utilities may remain about the same, even though you may spend more time at home, but there may be fewer members in the household as the children may get their own homes. Medical expenses for health checks and insurance are likely to increase, so you may apportion a higher percentage for this item. A possible estimate could be to use your own parents' current medical expenses as a guide. You may decide that property maintenance may not change. Leisure activities will most likely increase. So will dining out. Parental support expenses may go up before it goes away. So set aside an adequate amount for this item. If you decide to continue with owning a car that you already have, then it's likely the maintenance for the car will go up. Household expenditure may remain pretty much the same as now, with some appliances requiring repair or replacement. Children's expenses may go down, but if they have special needs, then it's probably um, possible that medical expenses will increase. Hopefully, you have no more debt obligations by the time you retire, so debt repayment and mortgage items should not be much of an issue. You may also estimate a lower tax obligation if you continue to work part-time or are self-employed. After adjusting your current expenses, you may need $2,000 a month at a desired retirement age of 62. This works out to a desired annual retirement income of $24,000. Again, using a life expectancy of 83 for men and 88 for women, the number of years in retirement will be 21 and 26 respectively. The total desired retirement income need will be $504,000 for a male and $624,000 for a female. Again, we have not factored in inflation.